Yo, I'm gonna be real. When that came on just now, I started getting scared for a second. Alright, see, I see how loud that is. So the first thing I'm getting ready to do is go over here and turn it down. Alright, so we got that turned down real quick. I'm beginner at this, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I have player one control, and I have player two control. It's telling me I got two game pads detected. So it says hold A on your device to configure it. Press four and four to quit at any time. So let's jump over here this side. for a sec because I got to toy around. Hold on. Alright, so I actually just skipped a whole lot because I actually just want to test the game to see how everything is running real quick. So... I don't even know what you want to go through. Now, I wanted to configure this control, but I didn't get to do that, so... So we got Cody, Music Player, Chromium, Steam, Other Ports, Light Gun, Daphne, Neo Geo, Game and Watch, Shoot 'em Ups, Capcom CPS 3, Capcom CPS 2, 1, Custom Collection, Arcade. So what I'm getting ready to do, because for what I'm looking for, I'm going to go to CPS3. I don't know where I have my button to this. I think I got it. So pretty much what happened is I configured my buttons are wrong. So again, this is my first time messing with this, first time setting it up. Here we go. Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, Fight for the Future. I want to see how good it plays, how good it rolls. See what it's looking like. Load scenes, I'm loving them. I'll listen to the sound real quick. I'm gonna turn it back up just for a second. Sound sounds pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty decent for the sound. Move this up. Let's see what it does. Don't judge me because my buttons, I don't even have no clue what buttons which. I didn't set them up right, so. Although that 
a light kick. Got my controller. I need to work on my controller because I got a bad controller. So, we'll fix that. That's my fault. that way at all. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's my buttons and not the uh, pretty sure that's my buttons and not the emulator so we'll look at that in a little bit. can't jump in any specific alright just so you know I know how to play this game I'm gonna have to do a video of me actually hopping on the Marvelous Capcom over there but the emulation seems beautiful but my controls I need to work on we're gonna back out of this one Okay, so I still haven't actually fixed my buttons yet. I'll go ahead and turn it down for you a little bit again. So I still haven't fixed my buttons yet fully. Pretty much really at all. I want to just check some things from this side real quick. But I think I found the actual menu that I was looking for. Let's go through this. I'm in the custom collections. I like how he did the pre-custom um, video cutscenes on all the custom games and ROM selections. So I'm going to jump in here to the superhero section. That's the first one that I was looking for. Switch sides on this. I know I might still get my tail handed to me. I just want to check to see if I was having the same issues going left and right and jumping back and forth. So far with the sound and the graphics, the emulation comes out perfect in my personal opinion. I'm not getting this actual full quality, in my opinion, again, on my Pandora's box. The problem I am having is the controllers. So we got. program the diagonal jump forward or up. That's what I'm realizing. I got that. I got forward. And I got back. But I don't have the diagonal. 
I don't have my diagonals done. I just got up, down, back, back, forward. That's could be my actual cover though. Yeah, so these controllers are an issue right now. Because of those controllers, games like this, it's making it slightly unplayable for me at the moment. I guess I'm gonna have to toy around with my configuration and see what I'm doing wrong. But it is obvious that direction is not being programmed on me at all. I promise y'all can do a lot better. Power. Out the game. That wouldn't have happened if my actual buttons worked. We're gonna check another game in the mirror real quick. Nope. So as I'm noticing that pretty much majority of those games, like the fightings, are going to be pretty much impossible. Let's go on ahead and check a game like TMNT and see exactly how that one works out. pretty good right there, it wasn't glitchy. So we can go up, down. So games like this. It's a little glitchy when it comes to the movements. So now I'm not 100% sure if that's my actual uh, encoder or if that's the joystick. Oh, 
Now see that was all because I actually couldn't turn back. The goal is to see if I can actually make it to the end without having to go through a continue. But if this was normal gameplay, I wouldn't have to go through a continue. I think it's the actual controller though. So see the control wouldn't go up for me. That hurt. That hurt. Can I do it without having to continue? There we go. So it makes it playable. It's gonna be a lot more challenging. But I need to get some new controls. This is actually the controls. I'm gonna start by getting new controls before I actually get new encoders. So I'm not gonna let y'all make me sit here and watch this. The emulation is fine. Sound is great. Graphics are fine to me. But we do need to work on these controls. All right, I'm gonna get out of here.